Okay, in this tutorial, we are going to create a table with some conditional formatting, which will allow us to work out the rank of basically some boat competition races. And as you can see here, we're taking the time a boat has taken to travel a set distance, and we've got it worked out the rank for each position. So the lowest time gets a rank of one, and we've got some conditional formatting, which will automatically highlight which color and then we've got a second criteria if it travels in a straight line these are like the amount of centimeters it's drifted by the time it ends once again we've ranked those as well and then just some general aesthetics so people vote on that whichever gets the highest score there gets that winning rank and then we have an overall ranking which is just an average as you can see in the formula of all of these other ones so we've only got five boats in here so we're just going to basically have a go at creating this ourselves and doing all of the formatting. So let's get started. So let's just get a new sheet open. I'm just going to zoom in. Let's give it a title. I'm not going to worry too much about the formatting. So we're going to boat competition. Okay, we could leave a little bit of a space there. Now what we want is the name of the person, we might need a column for the boat name. Now note this field has gone a little bit wider. If we double click between those, it will stretch out. What we can also do is do wrap text so that if the column's not wide enough, it'll wrap onto the next line. Let's just stretch that out. What we now need is our different categories. So we've got a few different categories for our boat race. We've got got a boat time and we can see because we've still got that wrap text on that's fall on to the next line and so let's have our time ranking we've got a boat direction and we have a direction ranking aesthetic score and in uh, aesthetic ranking and then we have an overall ranking note because we've got these merge and center they've gone on to the next line note some of these aesthetics ones are going on to the next line so let's actually just stretch these out a little bit that looks a bit nicer and we can shrink that up now we're just going to make up some fake names. It's always good to put in some details. Okay, so we've got our key information here. And what we're going to want to have is when people type in it into this information, this ranking automatically updates because we don't want to have to go four, one, and three, three, and then actually have to go, okay, this guy won, this guy came second, this guy came third. Because if we realize then this was actually a five, we're gonna to have to manually update all of these. So what we need to do is use what's called a ranking. So let's just put a four, three, and a six in this. We know this one should be a one. So what we're gonna do is put in a ranking formula so we can go up to the little drop down next to auto sum do more functions and we're going to just search for rank there's a few different ones we want rank eq which means if two of them are equal it's going to give them both the same so if two people had both at the exact same time they'll get that highest value now it takes three variables variables the number reference so that's the list of items and the order so let's put this in so the number we want to match this one from this list now we want to lock that in place so we're going to make it absolute reference so the dollar signs mean it will always point to c4 through to c6 and the order We've got a few different options. 
descending if we don't need something and if we put a one in it's going to be in ascending order so let's put a one in here so it knows that's the second position i'm going to use the little fill handle to drag this down and we can see that's worked out hey the right values if we didn't have so i'm pressing f4 to toggle through these these is what's called absolute references when we filled this down Note, these cell references have actually changed. It's now pointing C6 to C8. So we're not actually looking at the right ones. So we want to make sure that the cell references stay the same. Another way we could do this is we could actually give this a named range to highlight those values. And let's call it, we can't put space in these, call it boat time. And so now rather than typing in all those values, we could just type in the word boat time, double click on it, and it references those. Makes our life a little bit easier. Now we're gonna do the same with the boat direction. Let's give those some values. name that range and we're going to in this case we're just going to copy that formula paste it in okay we can see it's not working but we're now going to change that boat time to be that range we've got these and if we see let's just make those the same see now both of those are in that same position Okay, the aesthetics ranking, let's do the same. But highlight that range. This time we don't want that one because we want it to be the highest number. Once again, we've got that down. Now, seeing this one, I've got that absolute reference. Now, to get the overall ranking, we're going to do the average. of the ranking, the time, ranking for direction, and the aesthetics. So we can see these guys that overall, Bob is going to be the winner. But it's not the clearest here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some conditional formatting on to make this easier to see. So let's highlight those cells Go up to the top, conditional formatting. Go manage rules. We want a new rule. We're going to format only the top or bottom rank values. We want to format, format the bottom one. We're going to format. And we're going to fill it and let's fill it green. And you can see the lowest single value has now been highlighted. I'm going to use a format painter, paint it for the aesthetics rank, direction rank. Yeah. So this format painter, when we click on it, it copies whatever rules and settings are there. So now we can easily see that Bob with the boat bruiser won two of the sections and came first overall. Well, let's just change a couple of these values. So you can see now, despite Bob only winning this other one here, he's still got that high percentage win. Let's see if we can modify it so that We can sort of see now there's a tie. So even though Bob only rang this one because it came two seconds, the averages worked out a bit nicer. But this doesn't look great. So what we're going to do is format this. Anytime there are numbers, the column headings should be right aligned. And if we've got headings, it's always a good habit to make those in bold. And then we want to add some borders. So we can just use outside borders 
and just draw boxes around where we want them to be. Using that tool, we can also use the draw border tool and just draw lines where we want them to go. But note by default that it's drawing some quite thin lines. So we have to actually go and modify you know, the thickness of the line that we want to draw. So either way is fine. I generally prefer just using the thick outside borders. It just makes it often a little bit quicker to get what we want. Okay, and we need a title. We're going to highlight that all the way across to column I. Merge and center. Let's make that bigger. Let's say 24 point. And bold. Okay, we can see those are now not quite wide enough. So let's just stretch those out a bit more. We can shrink these other ones up. And we now have a nice little table. Now if we want to add in more rows, we can just go right click insert but probably the best way to do it is to take all the information so copy right click insert copied cells because that will keep all of those formulas in there for us and now we just have to yeah, delete those other values and we can enter in our information. So what we've done now is we've quite quickly made a nice little table to calculate our records for our game. Obviously we need to save this. So I mean with more options, choose a sensible folder, preferably somewhere it's gonna get backed up and give it a appropriate file name. So, boat ranking calculator. So, now we've got this, we could double click here, rename the sheet if we wanted to. But, we've got a nice little solution. Okay, so take care, work on it, and enjoy.